Hello everyone, this is Julie Charette Nunn, Crow's daughter, and I am outside again with the wild roses. And I'm gonna find this one for you, this beautiful little rose that is just having some pink blossom emerging from the bud. Yesterday was Mother's Day, and the roses began blooming. Yesterday evening, I noticed, and today, there's just one over there. I don't know if you can see it in the video. So today, the roses are vibrant and quiet. There's a quiet energy out here amongst them. There's a few insect sounds. There's the American bittern. There's a frog. And there's the quiet energy of the roses. When I moved here, over 10 years ago, I didn't know that there were wild roses here, like there are so many. But I was called to this place. I was called. So what does that mean, that I was called? I've been unfolding and unraveling that for the last 10 years. There's a place for each of us where we feel completely at home and where the land can serve us and can teach us. And this is my place. And these roses are a big part of it. I've had roses in my life for my entire life. And since I've lived here for 10 years, they have demonstrated for me the expansiveness of what is possible. And this rose right here, she says, living is only possible Living is only possible when you are engaged in life. Otherwise, mere existence is empty. If you were to equate your religion with me, you would find peace immediately. And in this beautiful sunny Monday evening, I bid you adieu, and I'll be back another time. Be well.